sacred a little bit. Like, you don't taste it unless you've got crazy taste buds like his butcher. Um, if you don't like mustard, don't use it. Yeah. <laughs> people use Dijon, people use all sorts. We just find this yellow mustard just seems to it make it stick. Uh, it doesn't really it add much flavour at all. I can't taste it. Funnily enough, we didn't think anyone could taste it until we did. Um, Craig's, Craig's boss came down and tried it and he goes, oh, you use mustard on this. Freakishly good taste buds. Now, if you're doing this at comp and things like that, you know, you're keeping a clean hand and whatever, because you don't want to cross-contaminate. Right, right. We're not cross-contaminate. <laughs> cross <laughs> While Craig's doing that, guys, I'm just going to show you, I've had two logs sitting up here. Now we're sitting at uh, Rhiannon's favourite spot, 225. That's not my favourite spot because I know how to cook. And no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 225 is okay if you're rich. 225 is okay. It's not a bad, like 225, a lot of people cook. Just into the coating there. We've got Hardcore Carnival Red today. Uh, really good rubs. They do Hardcore Carnival Red, they do Hardcore Carnival Black. The black's good for steak. I cook with that a lot of times a week, literally just putting a steak on the pan. The reason why it's good, it's got activated charcoal in it. So it gives you the charcoal flavor, even if you haven't cooked over charcoal. So that's good. Gives it, the gives things an insane color as well. And so does the red, just brilliant hues of red and things like that. Uh, the, the color, the intensity of color that comes from this red you'll see today is just, it's crazy. It's almost like a, a neon sort of color. All right, so I dust from a bit of a height. The reason for it is I just want to check that spread. I want to get it as even a spread as possible. You don't want clumps of like the same you know, so you don't want clumps of rub all over it. You want to try to keep it pretty nice and evenly spread. The rubs give a really good flavor as well as helping the smoke stick to the outside of the meat. So what I do is I'll cover every inch of the meat, but just give it a light covering. Don't go too hard. Less is more guys. Once again, if you are using a rub to mask something, yeah, you didn't get a good quality of meat to begin with. So what I'm gonna do, just while Craig's doing that really quickly, chuck two logs on. So I wanna ramp up that heat. Has anyone used iron bark before? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So you know. So if you've got if you've got anyone's got property and they've got iron bark trees, cut them down and season it. <laughs> it makes for some great wood.